Hello everyone and welcome to this lecture. In this lecture, we are going to cover an overview of AWS SageMaker built-in algorithms. Please note that in today's project, we are going to build a machine learning regression model and we're going to leverage AWS SageMaker built-in algorithms. And the algorithm that we're going to use today is known as Linear Learner. But before we jump into the details of Linear Learner, how does it work and how we can actually train it in SageMaker, I just wanted to provide you guys with an overview of AWS SageMaker built-in algorithms. This is very important so you can have kind of a holistic overview of what the capabilities of SageMaker built-in algorithms are so kind of you can tailor each of these algorithms to your own application. So let's go ahead and get started. So here is an overview of SageMaker available algorithms. And please note that as we speak right now, uh, there might be additional algorithms, of course, that will be released in the future. This is kind of a, like a snapshot of in time as we speak, um, uh, basically, um, as the course is launched today, right now, there might be additional algorithms that will be launched in the future. So when it comes to classification, we have all these different algorithms. So we have linear learner, which is what we're going to be covering essentially today. So another as well key point to notice that linear learner algorithms actually can be used to perform regression tasks and it could also be used to perform regression tasks. So you can use it in any of these two applications. But again, today we're primarily going to focus on regression. In order to do classification well, you can use many other algorithms. So we have XGBoost algorithm, which is the algorithm that we have in here. Again, we're going to cover it in the future as well, which is a super powerful algorithm. We also have k nearest neighbors, KNN. We have factorization machines as well, could be used to do classification. If you wanted to leverage AWS SageMaker built-in algorithms to perform regression, you have many options. So you have Linear Learner, you have XGBoost, and you have as well k nearest neighbor or KNN. What if you wanted to do, let's say, computer vision, for example, and solve computer vision um, uh, problems? Well, you can use image classification algorithm. We also have object detection, if you wanted to detect objects in a scene. You also have semantic segmentation, in which we can do pixel level segmentation of objects in the scene. Uh, please note that uh, some of these topics might sound a little bit new to you and sound a little bit uh, advanced. Don't worry about it. Again, I just want you to kind of um, remember that there are many algorithms out there and I just wanted to give you an overview before we dig deeper into the linear learner algorithm. We also have um, dimensionality reductions algorithm. We can, for example, perform principal component analysis or use PCA or principal component analysis to reduce the dimensions of my input features. We can also use another algorithm known as object to vec we can also leverage AWS SageMaker built-in algorithms to perform time series forecasting. So the algorithm of choice here is called DeepAR. And again, we're going to cover touch base on that algorithm in the future. We can also do recommendation as well. And we can use factorization machines to do that trick for us. We can also do text and topic modeling. And there are many uh, algorithms that are available in there to deal with text data. So we have blazing text. We have NTM or Neural Topic Modeling. We have LDA. We have Sequence to Sequence. So we do Anomaly Detection as well using random, random Cut Forest and IP Insights as well algorithms. And finally, we can do Clustering using K-Means and KNN. Okay. All right. So what if I wanted to learn a little bit um, additional details about each of these algorithms? Well, here we go. Here we have a summary of all the different algorithms along with what they actually do from a very high level. And please note that the source here is um, available in the SageMaker documentation. So again, uh, I don't want you guys to memorize that. I just wanted to have an idea of what algorithms are out there and from a very high level, what do they do? And again, when we cover some of these algorithms throughout the course, then you will dig a little bit deeper and learn how to build them and code them from scratch. So, for example, we have blazing text, word to vec You can essentially use them to deal with word embedding and deal with text data. We also have the deep AR algorithm, which could be used to generate accurate forecasts, essentially leveraging or performing time series forecasting. Kind of, I wanted to predict what's going to happen in the future. 
and they essentially use a type of neural networks known as recurrent neural networks or RNN. We also have factorization machines and they could be used to uh, model, uh, basically it's a, it's a model with the ability to estimate all the interactions between features even with a very small amount of data. We can also use our favorite algorithm of choice, which is our gradient boosted algorithm, which is XG boost. And actually we're gonna be using it quite a bit throughout the course. We'll learn how to tune it as well, tune its hyperparameters. And I found that XG boost algorithm work really, really well in classification type problems and also in regression type problems. So kind of, if you have any type of problem, just go ahead, XG boost, and I would say most of the time it performed amazingly well. So it's short for extreme gradient boosting, and XGBoost is an optimized distributed gradient boosting library. We also have image classification or perform image classification, and we can use a state-of-the-art artificial neural network known as ResNets or residual neural network. And essentially we can use, again, AWS SageMaker built-in algorithms to do the image classification for us. We also have IP insights. We have K-means clustering. We also have K nearest neighbor. Again, I don't want you to uh, kind of memorize any of that, just get an idea of what's going on. We also have LDA to discover topics that we have in text files. We also have linear learner, and that's our algorith algorithm that we're going to cover today. And we can actually use it to perform classification tasks and also to perform regression tasks. And please note that we are going to use linear learner today to perform regression. So we're trying to predict a continuous variable, and that's why we are going to use a regression version of it. If you wanted to use it for classification, then your output should be classes, like either binary classification, like 0 or 1, or it could be multi-category. So if you have more than two categories, you can also use linear learner as well for classification purposes. We also have NTM, or Neural Topic Modeling. Essentially, you can learn multiple topics from text and image data. We also have object to vec which is a neural embedding algorithm, essentially, to compute nearest neighbors and to visualize as well all the natural clusters. We can also use the AWS SageMaker built-in algorithms to also perform object detection. So, for example, for self-driving cars, you can use object detection algorithms to essentially draw bounding boxes across various objects in the scene. So if you have, let's say, cars, pedestrians, you can draw bounding boxes around them. And the algorithm as well is really powerful within AWS SageMaker. We also can perform dimensionality reduction, and we can do that using PCA, or Principal Component Analysis. So uh, PCA can actually work really well to kind of reduce the size of our features. We can also perform semantic segmentation, which is pixel level segmentation of objects in the scene. We can also do sequence to sequence, which is a general purpose encoder decoder for text that is used for machine translation and text summarization as well. Essentially a text based algorithm. And that's it. That's all I have for this uh, task. I hope you guys enjoyed it. In the next lecture, let's go ahead and jump right away and cover linear learner in SageMaker. Please stay tuned. Best of lecture.